yesterday All my trouble seems so far away Richard Curtis sent me the script and I read it through in one and it was a wonderful uh, surprise and a kind of delight. When did you write that? I didn't write it. Paul McCartney wrote it. The Beatles. Who? It you know, seems so simple, this idea of everybody forgetting the Beatles, apart from this one struggling singer-songwriter from Suffolk. I really loved Danny's take on the movie. No! Which was sort of more energetic, more emotional. Can I do this? I can. I mean, Danny must have a dark side because he's made so many films about zombies and drug addicts and people have to chop their arms off. But certainly there's enough of his bright, optimistic side to fuel ten of my films. Oh, yeah! Until a month ago, you were a complete failure. But now, you've hit an extraordinary songwriting groove, and you want to be the biggest star in the world. I've always been in awe of Richard's devotion to romance and comedy, really. It's a beautiful thing, and it's been lovely to be able to be part of that process, working on a script like that from him. You're leaving, so I can ask you anything. How did I get in the friend column instead of the and I love her column? It's a full-hearted romance that believes in love, and the belief in the Beatles is a belief in love, really, and Richard certainly has that. Perhaps love isn't all you need, but it's pretty damn close. I'm a great optimist in my films, so it's actually been wonderful feeling that the person in charge is full of exactly the atmosphere of sort of exuberance and warmth that I hope the film will have. Yeah.